lot of people don't know that you can keep and grow live trees in your aquarium. Yes, trees. Further, you can buy these trees online and have them shipped right to your house. And that's exactly what we did. We ordered a few trees, they just got here, and believe it or not, they're actually right here in this box. Let's go check them out. All right, before we unbox the trees, let's talk about what kind of trees we're actually working with here. Because I'm not saying you can go out and get any old pine or maple tree and plant it in your aquarium and be good. I mean, you might be able to do that. I don't know. I never have and I've never heard of it. But what we're working with here today are mangrove trees. And mangrove is a pretty broad term. Specifically, we're working with red mangroves. Now, there's a few other options in the hobby. Uh, black and white mangroves, there's a little debate on how successful those can be kept in aquaria. But the red mangroves, those are the ones that we know work out very well. So let's go unbox these trees and talk a little bit more about them. While we get this box open, let's talk a bit about why you might want mangroves in your aquarium. Many hobbyists use these trees as nitrate reducers. Similar to other aquatic plants or even pothos, where you put it in your tank with the sole purpose of reducing nitrates and keeping the water cleaner for your fish. And that's a great benefit. But the other reason you might want these trees, and the reason that I want these trees in my aquarium, is pure aesthetics. These things just look so cool, especially when you have a lot of them in one tank. You might ask, hey, where can I buy these trees? And there's actually a ton of options online. If you just search buy mangroves, you'll find a ton of aquatic websites and even eBay and Amazon offering these trees up. I got these ones from eBay. That's where I found the most sellers with the biggest trees available. I do recommend buying the biggest trees possible because these things take forever to grow. So it's definitely worth a little extra money to save yourself that time. The ones I ordered were listed as ranging from 18 to 24 inches, which is a pretty good size. And oh, yeah, this is gold right here. This tree has several offshoots already. That's at least a couple years worth of growth. The price I paid for all 12 of the trees I got, I would have paid for just this one had I known it was going to come in this great. This is an excellent specimen. But something else really interesting about mangrove trees is that they can grow in both salt, brackish, and fresh water. So you can keep these in pretty much any aquarium you can think of. If you're looking to save money, you can buy a bunch more mangroves as propagules. This is the mature form of the seeds that they drop. And they look like these long tubulars. And this one actually already has a couple roots sprouted. And the seller, I think, just threw these in for free just to be nice, which I appreciate. But those uh, will eventually sprout leaves and then start growing upward out of the water. You do want to keep the tip above the water because the leaves need to be able to access the oxygen. Here we can see some mangroves that I've already been growing in my tank for a little over a year now. As you can see, the roots aren't even in substrate. They do just fine growing freely in the water, as long as you secure them in a way so that they don't sink and keep the leaves above the water accessible to the oxygen and light. Eventually the roots will grow to reach into the substrate and from there they'll develop prop roots which are really cool networks of arched branches that help support the tree. In order to fit all the mangroves in this tank I'm probably going to have to rescape it and remove those driftwood branches that I have in there now. I'm going to keep the denison barbs in here because I think they're going to be so awesome swimming back and forth amongst the red mangroves. So we got the mangroves in the tank, and we did have to do a fair amount of rescaping to accommodate them all, but I think it turned out really nicely. I'm already enjoying seeing the fish swim back and forth and amongst the stalks. And I'm really looking forward to watching these mangroves grow into the tank throughout the years. They're trees, so they don't grow fast. We have a long-term time commitment ahead of us, but this is now a tank that's only going to get better with age, as the network of roots and then the leaves on top of the tank really develop and fill it in. It's just going to be amazing. 
Well, that'll about do us for today, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I really hope you enjoyed learning about mangroves and how you can use them in your aquarium. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that like button. It really helps. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing. We got a ton more great videos coming out. There's just so much more to show you still.